Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the sonnets and today we've got sonnet 22 which reads, My glass shall not persuade me I am old, so long as youth and thou are of one date. But when in thee time's furrows I behold, then look I death my days should expiate. For all that beauty that doth cover thee is but the seemly raiment of my heart, which in thy breast doth live as thine in me. How can I then be elder than thou art? O oh, therefore, love, be of thyself so wary as I, not for myself, but for thee, will, bearing thy heart, which I will keep so chary as tender nurse her babe from faring ill. Presume not on thy heart when mine is slain. Thou gavest me thine not to give back again. So this is a, it's a lovely sort of trading of hearts, love poem, love sonnet that this is, which fits in with the fair youth stuff of, of the previous poems. But this isn't, we're, we're well beyond the procreation, please procreate bit. This is, there's still the theme of time and the passage of time and aging and beauty outliving age and all that sort of thing that, that is going on here, but this is perhaps a little bit more intimate because Shakespeare does get into the imagery of trading hearts with the with the fair youth. You know, I'm giving you your heart and you're giving me mine. And Shakespeare says that all of all of the fair youth's beauty is just it's sort of the lens that Shakespeare has put on the fair youth because he loves him so much. You know, that whole you're you're beautiful because of how much I love you sort of is what's being said there and also saying that the fair youth has given Shakespeare his heart so it's it's a mutual thing this this mutual like trading of hearts trading of love trading of beauty and as long as they both have that then neither of them will age or get old or anything and and Shakespeare says you know I'm not going to recognize age in myself until I see it in you and then in the in the last um the lines 9 through 12, he talks about, you know, like, be careful with yourself because you're carrying my heart and I'm going to be careful with myself because I'm carrying yours and I don't want to destroy your heart. And, you know, just sort of, <laughs> and and it ends with a, a bit of a warning that, you know, like, if, if my heart breaks, be careful because the heart that's actually in me is yours. So you're kind of going to break your heart too. So you won't be able to rely on your own once I have it if if something bad were to happen to one or the other of us so it's it is it has the the gloss of being something very sweet and romantic and and beautiful and kind about it but there is sort of that weird little warning at the end of you know like don't go hurting me because i'm the one that's carrying your heart around sort of thing maybe maybe a little codependent as if we weren't already getting vibes of codependency from all of the previous fair youth sonnets that that have been written um but yeah it's it's a nice little love sonnet about age and beauty and time and all that fun stuff. What's interesting, um, a couple sonnets ago, we had a sonnet that was basically a feminine sonnet because all of the lines had 11 syllables. There are two lines in this poem that have 11 syllables and they are the lines, oh, therefore love be of thyself so wary and bearing thy heart, which I will keep so chary. So interesting to dig into those two lines and, and see maybe what's difficult about those things to say or what's what's weird about those things to say. And if it is supposed to be sort of a, a cautionary thing or a, you know, please hold on to my heart because I'm holding on to yours, maybe it could um, indicate some vulnerability about sharing your heart with another person, something along all the lines. But anyway, just thought that I would point that out. It's a, a brief straying from, from strict iambic pentameter to get a couple of feminine endings in there, but it's only on those two lines. The, the rest of the poem is straight up masculine iambic pentameter. But anyway, that's sonnet number 22. Come on back tomorrow for sonnet number 23. I'll see you then. Mwah.